It's a wedding right now, as you can see there, I gave Liam a haircut earlier. It looks fresh and clean now. And we're kind of here late because all thanks to mommy, because she was all there. New style, new substance, the new standard in luxury SUV. I'd like to introduce the all new handcrafted 2017 GLS 450 for Matic in steel gray metallic. For years, the Mercedes Benz GL has set countless standards among seven passenger luxury SUVs, much as the S sedan sets the board for sedans. For 2017, it is reborn as the new GLS, and its many improvements are wrapped in fresh new style. New LED lighting, front and rear, and bold new wheels from 19 to 22 inches are among its many brilliant details. When it comes to the interior, the GOS is really all luxury. Luxury in all three rows, heated power front seats, a second row that reclines, and a power folding third row with adult size comfort. The new GOS also features the intelligent drive system, which gives you virtual eyes on the road. This advanced technology boosts safety, reduce stress, and help to smooth every move. Active brake assist can brake to help avoid a collision autonomously. Innovations help fend off crosswinds and prepare for front and rear and rollover accidents. Here's a key fob to the car. On there we have the lock, unlock, trunk release, and the panic button in red. You can also pull the switch over to release the menu key. Now let's go ahead and unlock it, start it up, and let you listen to the quick exhaust note. The GOS, of course, come equipped with a smart keyless access entry, so all you have to do is leave the key in your pocket or purse. To unlock, simply put your hand behind the handle, and to lock, simply touch on the outer side right there. Interior comes in black MB text and anthracite polar wood trim. Looks very nice as you can see there. To start the engine, simply put your foot down the brake and press the start button located right here. Under the hood, the 2017 GOS 450 features a 3.0-liter V6 bi-turbo engine with direct injection that pushes out 362 horsepower mm -hmm. and 369 pound-foot of torque. It is a 9G Tronic automatic transmission with shift paddles mounted behind the steering wheel. The GOS 450 can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just under 6.5 seconds. This is all possible thanks to the V6 bi-turbo engine and the Formatic permanent all-wheel drive system. As for fuel economy, the GOS 450 gets 17 miles per gallon in the city, 22 miles per gallon on the highway, and when combined it gets 19 miles per gallon. The GOS is also equipped with the Eco Start and Stop feature. With this system on, the GOS engine will automatically shut off at red lights or when stuck in traffic, and as soon as the driver let go of the brake, the engine will instantly restart. And of course, this feature can be turned on or off at any time by the driver. Front, there's the automatic rain sensing intermittent windshield wipers. Black hood fins. Moving down, we have the most noticeably iconic Mercedes-Benz door with the optional illuminate feature. 
and below the Mercedes store as you can see there's also a front view camera built in as part of the surround system. This specific model here is equipped with the lighting package which means it features the active LED headlamps and adaptive high beam assist. Adaptive high beam assist uses continuous input from a camera to automatically vary the range of your headlamps based on the distance of oncoming vehicles and those ahead of you. It's engineered to maximize road illumination without creating glare for other drivers. Parking assist will also integrate into the front bumper. This is a very nice safety feature in helping the driver back in and out and parking. Moving over to the side, there's the body colored side view mirror with integrated turn signal light, auto dimming function, power folding control, blind spot assist system, and as part of the surround system, there's also a built-in camera below each side view mirror. As you can see, there's just a side view mirror alone is fully loaded. This specific model comes with 19 inch wheels. Behind the wheels, we have the four ventilated anti-lock disc brakes with adaptive brake technology, electronic stability control, and brakes assist system. All four wheels are equipped with a tire monitoring system. As we move down the side, there's also the nicely designed running board. To the back, on top, we have the rear deck spoiler with integrated LED brake light in the center. Also looks pretty sporty on the side. Rear window intermittent wiper and washer. The rear is also equipped with a rear view camera that automatically turns on when the car is put into reverse. This is a very nice safety feature to help the driver in backing out and parking. Parking assist also integrate into the rear bumper. LED tail lamps give you an eye catching impression as you accelerate away. With long life and low energy consumption, the light emitting lamps offer both immediate and lasting safety benefits to match their impactful style statement. At the bottom, there's the eye catching chrome exhaust tip. In the center, here's the trailer hook and light pin connector. As for the gas tank, just make sure the core is unlocked. To open, all you have to do is simply push in. And of course, again, it is recommended by Mercedes to use premium unleaded gasoline only. Now let's go ahead and check out what's inside the trunk. You do have the power lift gate there. And as you can tell right away, very spacious. Inside we have the uh, car mats. Hook on this side. And of course the same goes over here. We also have a hanging hook here. And these two switches used to control the uh, power folding third row seat. And here we have the uh, trunk cover. And you can actually remove this entire piece. Here we have the trunk lighting along with a 12 volt core charge outlet. Another hook on the back seat there. Now let's go ahead and demonstrate to you how the uh, third row seat will fold down. As you can see there it folds down flat and looks very nice. This gives you so much more space for storage of luggage and other things. And another good thing is it's so easy to uh, fold down and fold the race back up. And as you can see there, even raising it back up has power control function. Very convenient.
Below here we have uh, your spare tire along with all the tools in the center there. Here's your first aid kit. Moving on up we have more trunk lighting there. And over here we have two buttons. One button is to lock the core door and the other button is to close the trunk. Here's a complete view of the top. The GOS does come with the uh, roof rails there. Definitely comes in handy when you go on to long trips and have bigger materials to carry on top. The GOS also features the uh, panorama sunroof. And as you can see there, there's the front portion with the tilt function on. It's hard to notice it because the GOS is so tall. Though it still looks pretty nice. And here it is with the sunroof fully open. Even as a SUV vehicle, you can still see the sunroof is fairly sporty and attractive. And in most other Mercedes vehicles, the sunroof and moonroof are my favorite feature. Now for a closer look at what we have on the driver's side door. Very nicely designed there. On top we have the door lock and unlock button, three memory setting for easy readjustment of the driver's seat with power front seat control there. Moving down we have four power window control. At the bottom we have the window lock button. On top side view mirror control. Side door storage compartment. And here we have your tailgate release switch. And below that is a switch to control the rear window. As you can see there, you can open the rear window for an open air filling. Mercedes Benz door seal. Breaking gas pedals. The red lever there is to release your hood. And here we also have the motionless control of the driver's seat. Here's a detailed look of the driver's seat. The headrest is also adjustable. Seat belt height adjustment. The door lock and unlock feature does work on all four doors. And here's here's a quick view of the second row seat. Same style design door as the front. Power window control, side door compartment, and again I am five foot seven, so this will give you a better idea of how much leg space you'll have sitting in the second row seat. And I feel very comfortable back here, plenty of leg space. Complete view of the front from sitting in the second row seat. Two additional air vents and below here we have the temperature control along with the fan control and the uh, extension of the uh, seat here very nice
everything's still new so it's uh, still kind of sticky uh, another storage spot down here and way below we have a 12 volt core charge outlet back seat net storage same goes on this side and let's see what we have in the middle two cup holders and here's a detailed look of the seat the second row seat does also have the built-in latch system for you to safely secure down your baby seat and you can also lift this uh, piece up here the GOS SUV is really designed with everything in mind on top here we have the hand bar with the light control and an air vent here's a better look on this side also have another vent on the side here and in order to get access into the third row seat you can either use this lever to fold down the seat manually or you can simply press this button up here and it will do everything else for you Headrest is also adjustable as you can see there. And press this button on the side to uh, lower it. Let's go ahead and demonstrate this part for you. At a fingertip, all you have to do is press the button, and everything else are done for you, giving you full access into the third row seat. And here I am in the third row seat. So far, very comfortable so far. Let's go ahead and pull the seat down. And raise it up. And surprisingly, it is very spacious back here. And I have no trouble with leg space at all, as you can see here. Still has some extra room there, actually over here we have a single cup holder air vent on top and the third row seat also have the latch system built in directly above our head we have the different lighting control surprisingly I'm very comfortable back here so unlike many other SUVs the third row seat of the GOS is very spacious and comfy and we're back in the driver's seat here we have the three spoke leather wrapped steering wheel looks and feels very comfortable to the left side we have the different control option which allow you to control everything that's going to be displayed here on the digital dash Mercedes-Benz logo in the middle with the horn over here we have your voice command option Bluetooth phone answering option and the audio volume control gear shift paddle behind the steering wheel one on the right and another on the left Here's our gear shift box to control this. Push your foot down the brake. Light up to put the car into neutral. Heavy up to put the car into reverse. When you do so, the rear view camera will automatically display here on the screen. Now let me state this, the screen is flickering in the video due to my camera. In reality, it does not flicker at all and looks very nice and luxurious. As you can see there, we also have the 360 degree view side by side with the rear view camera. All with guided lines, which are very nice. So light down again to put in neutral, heavy down to put the car into drive, and press the button on the end to put the car back into park. Here's the right and left turn signal, and twist the end on knob here to control the windshield washer. The smaller knob is used to control the steering wheel placement, and the longer knob is your cruise control. 
driver air vent, fog light control, and headlamps control. Below we have the power parking brake, driver sun visor, with mirror and on the side we also have a clip for your clip paper or credit cards or anything also have light on top which turn on and off according to the open and closure of the mirror on days like today you can also move this over to the side for better sun coverage and still have another piece in the front and bow on the side here it is really sunny and hot out here today guys Moving over to the middle, we have the beautiful navigation and audio system display. On both sides are the air vent. And again, like I mentioned, the screen does not flicker at all in reality. Down here in the center, we have your CD slot. Here's the volume control. Um, and okay. simply press down in the center to turn the display on or off. On the left side, we have the different uh, display selection from navigation to radio, media, telephone, and the car menu control. And over to the right hand side we have your keypad. Here's the SD slot. Both front seats does have heated control function. Has a light control in the middle, traction control, auto start and stop control, and parking assist control. Weather climate control. Below we have the storage spot for you to put phone or anything you can fit in there. Below here we have two cup holders. Now what's nice about these two cup holders are they uh, you can turn the heat on or the cool feature on which is very nice and it uh, works fairly quick. Blue is for cold and red is for hot. Very nice feature to have. Here's a, a removable ashtray along with a 12 volt core torcher or cigarette lighter here. And this is what you use to maneuver around the navigation system. This knob is twistable, multi-directional, and you can simply press down on it to select. Here's the favorite and back button. And uh, on top, this touchpad works the same way as the knob below it. As you can see there, as I move around the touchpad, it goes around maneuver the same way as the uh, knob at the bottom just give you another option here's a different driving mode selection simply twist the knob to the right or left to control the uh, different driving mode as you can see they're very simple and here we have the uh, different heel descent control and the uh, height of the car middle armrest compartment inside we have two USB inputs Let's see what else. Glove box compartment. Glove box compartment does have an air vent inside. And here's a complete view of the dash. And again, I apologize about the flickering of the uh, screen there. In reality, it does not flick at all, so remember that. Here's the auto dimming rear view mirror with the built in universal garage door opener. You can simply use those three buttons to open and close your garage door after inputting the codes. SOS is for roadside assistant. Press that and you'll be automatically connected. Have a spot for you to put your sunglasses here. 
Here's a different lighting control. And in the center, we have the sunroof control. Here's a quick look to the top. And as you can see, it extends all the way to the back, which looks very nice. Here's the tilt function on. And here it is fully open. Alright guys, make sure to subscribe for more video. I'll see everyone in the next one.